deep within the Earth's history lies the story of one of humanity's closest evolutionary cousins, the Neanderthals. These members of the Homo lineage have left their mark on our understanding of human origins and evolution, with new discoveries continually reshaping the narrative. One of the most exciting recent breakthroughs comes from the Arbreda Cave, nestled in the Serenya prehistoric caves park of Girona, Spain. Here, researchers have uncovered the first ever Neanderthal remains found in the region. The excavation of these remains will help trace the steps of Neanderthals in a part of the world where their legacy is still being uncovered. The Neanderthals, or Homo neanderthalensis, were a species of early humans that lived across Europe and parts of Asia for thousands of years before disappearing roughly 40,000 years ago. They are our closest extinct relatives, sharing a common ancestor with modern humans around 500,000 to 700,000 years ago. Despite often being portrayed as primitive, Neanderthals were highly sophisticated beings. They crafted tools, controlled fire, built shelters, and may have even had the capacity for language. Evidence suggests they lived in complex social groups and had cultural practices, including burying their dead and perhaps even creating symbolic art. Neanderthals were physically robust, adapted to the harsh conditions of Ice Age Europe. Their stocky build, prominent brow ridges and large noses were features thought to be adapted for survival in cold climates. They thrived for a long time, but their fate became intertwined with the arrival of anatomically modern humans, Homo sapiens, in Europe. The exact reasons for the Neanderthal's extinction remain a subject of much debate. Some theories suggest competition with modern humans, climate change, or even interbreeding between the two species as contributing factors. A breeder cave is part of the Riklau Caves complex, located within the picturesque landscape of the Serenya Prehistoric Caves Park in Girona, Spain. This region is rich in prehistoric significance, with several caves that have yielded remarkable archaeological findings over the years. The Reclo Caves are known for their well-preserved stratigraphy, which contains layers of sediment that span thousands of years. The cave itself served as a shelter for various groups of animals, as well as Neanderthals and, later, modern humans. The cave's timeline spans from about 140,000 years ago to as recently as 16,000 years ago. Neanderthals were believed to have first inhabited this area between 140,000 and 39,000 years ago. The discovery of the Neanderthal remains in a breeder cave is both remarkable and significant. Led by Dr. Marina Lozano of Ifes Serca, the team uncovered remains belonging to three distinct Neanderthal individuals. These remains belonged to an infant, a juvenile, and an adult. This gave the team a unique opportunity to study the development, health and lifestyle of different age groups within Neanderthal society. The dating of the dental remains provided a glimpse into Neanderthal life over two distinct periods. Two of the teeth, which are estimated to be at least 120,000 years old, suggest a time when Neanderthals first occupied the area. The third tooth, however, was dated to between 71,000 and 44,000 years ago, showing that Neanderthals returned to this site or continued to inhabit it during a second phase of occupation. This division in time periods indicates that Neanderthals may have utilised a breeder cave over several generations, possibly adapting their behaviour and survival strategies in response to changing environmental conditions. The significance of this discovery lies not just in the bones and teeth themselves, but in the information they provide about Neanderthal life. Teeth are invaluable in the study of prehistoric life because they preserve details about diet, health and age. By analysing the enamel thickness, pulp cavity volume and the enamel dent in junction, researchers hope to uncover a wealth of information about the individuals who once inhabited this region. For instance, dental analysis can reveal signs of malnutrition, disease or environmental stress. It can also shed light on the dietary habits of Neanderthals and how they adapted to their surroundings. The team employed advanced microtomography to produce detailed 3D models of the teeth, allowing them to explore the internal structures without damaging the delicate remains. Scanning electron microscopy was also used to examine the surface of the teeth for any post-depositional alterations. This ensured that the analysis would be as accurate as possible. 
This cutting-edge technology not only helps preserve the integrity of the remains, but also unlocks a level of detail that would have been impossible with traditional methods. The detailed analysis of the teeth has provided valuable insights into the lives of the individuals who lived in a breeder cave. For example, the enamel thickness tells scientists about the diet of the Neanderthals. Thicker enamel is often associated with a diet that includes hard-to-chew foods like plant material or animal bones. This suggests that Neanderthals in the region may have relied on a varied diet that included both plant and animal resources, depending on availability. The pulp cavity volume can also provide clues about the age and health of the individuals, allowing researchers to estimate how long they lived and what their health conditions might have been like. One of the most intriguing aspects of this discovery is the finding of Neanderthal remains from two distinct time periods. The older teeth, dating back to around 100 to 20,000 years ago, suggest a period when Neanderthals were more widespread in Europe. However, the second set of remains, dating to a much later period, between 71,000 and 44,000 years ago, provides evidence that Neanderthals may have lingered in certain regions even after modern humans began to spread across the continent. This is a crucial piece of evidence in the ongoing debate about when and how Neanderthals interacted with modern humans and whether there was any overlap between the two species. These findings are particularly significant because they allow researchers to explore the subsistence strategies of the last Neanderthals in the Iberian Peninsula. During this period, Neanderthals may have been experiencing new challenges, including climatic changes and competition with modern humans. Understanding how they adapted to these challenges will offer information about their eventual disappearance and the survival strategies they employed in their final years. The discovery of Neanderthal remains in a breeder cave is part of a broader trend in archaeology that is shedding new light on our understanding of Neanderthal behaviour, culture and survival strategies. As more and more discoveries are made across Europe, researchers are beginning to piece together a more detailed picture of Neanderthal life. This includes their social structures, hunting techniques, and possibly even their emotional and cognitive capacities. The fact that Neanderthals survived in this region for so long, in some cases coexisting with early humans, challenges the traditional view of them as a failed species that was outcompeted by more advanced humans. Instead, the evidence suggests that Neanderthals were resilient and adaptable, able to thrive in diverse environments for tens of thousands of years. Furthermore, the continued study of Neanderthal remains is helping to rewrite the story of human evolution. As research continues, the findings from this cave will undoubtedly add to the growing body of evidence that challenges our understanding of Neanderthals, offering fresh perspectives on their role in human history and evolution.